Hey guys, in today's bass guitar lesson, I'm gonna show you five blues riffs that you can use to help you master the bass guitar fingerboard. I'll see you inside the lesson. Hey guys, it's James here from eBass Guitar, and a couple of weeks back I released a lesson called Five Simple Shapes to Master the Fingerboard. And this was all about using the minor pentatonic and the five shapes which are associated with that scale to learn the fingerboard. Now, a great lady called Nora asked me a question saying, this is really awesome learning the fingerboard with the minor pentatonic, can we do this with the major pentatonic? And I said, absolutely yes. And the really cool thing is the shapes are exactly the same. And I'm gonna show you exactly how that works inside this lesson. Just before we hit the lesson content, I would love to ask you guys a question. I'd love to know what is your biggest challenge in learning the bass guitar fingerboard? Can you let me know in the comments below? Also, don't forget, as always, there's a completely free PDF which comes with this lesson, which will show you everything we're discussing today, written out in standard notation and tab, and it will also give you those crucial fingerboard diagrams for the five shapes. So make sure you download your copy free using the link in the description below. Also, if you want the backing track used in this lesson, this is available to Bass Lab Plus members over at eBay's Guitar, so make sure you check that out in the backing track vault. So first off, I wanna show you how the notes of the B flat major pentatonic are exactly the same as the G minor pentatonic. And this is all to do with a music theory device called relative major and relative minor. So if you want to know more about that, make sure you check that out in my music theory book. But first of all, let me show you how these notes work. So let's go through the notes of the B flat major uh, pentatonic first of all. So we're gonna start off with a B flat, a C, a D, an F, a G, a B flat, a D, sorry, a C and a D like that. So you may be familiar with the shape. It is two, four, one, four, one, four, one, three like that. And this is our basic major pentatonic shape that I want you to get under your fingers. Now what I want you to do now is go down three frets and play the minor pentatonic shape. And what I want you to notice is how the notes are exactly the same, but just starting on a different note. So we're gonna to go to G, and then we have the B flat there, then we have the C, the D, the F, the G, the B flat, and the C like that. So exactly the same set of notes appear in the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic. And what this means in practice is that we can use exactly the same five shapes across the fingerboard. And so today I'm gonna to show you how to create some blues riffs doing that. But first off, I'd love you to go back into lesson uh, where I showed you the five simple shapes to learn the fingerboard and download the PDF and compare this week's PDF to that one and you'll see how the shapes are exactly the same. This is really, really crucial understanding of the fingerboard. So this is the first blues riff that I want to show you using the first shape of the major pentatonic. And it sounds like this. So let's take this apart. So the first beat is simply two B, B flats. And then the second beat is a C, a D and an F. So it sounds like this. And then the third beat is a G, a B flat and a C like that. So. And then the last beat is simply a B flat, a G and an F like so. So we're using triplets on cross beats two, beats three and beats four. So this is a little bit of a workout for your left hand, but it's great, great practice. So what I wanna do is play this now with the blues backing track so you can hear this in action. Thank you. 
So let's move on to the second shape of the major pentatonic. Now this starts at a C at the eighth fret on the E string. So let me show you the pattern first of all. So I want you to start this on a second finger. So what we're gonna do is two, four on the E string, then onto the A string, two, four, and then again on the D string, two, four, and then one, four, like that. Don't forget for all of these, we're exclusively using the one finger per fret technique. Now the notes we're playing there are simply a C, a D, an F, a G, a B flat, a C, a D, and an F like that. So get that under your fingers. So let's look at the blues riff we're gonna play now. This is rhythmically identical to the previous one. We're gonna start at the B flat at the eighth fret on the D string and it sounds like this. So let's take it apart. So we start with two B flats and then we go to a G, uh, F, D like that. So and then E flat, F, B flat is on the third beat. So this is the first three beats. Like that. And then the fourth beat is simply a C, a, a D, and then a C like so. Okay, so quite tricky because you have to keep that hand shape really solid. But let's hear it with the blues backing track so you can hear what it sounds like in action. to shape three of the major pentatonic. Again, this is using the one finger per fret technique. And we're gonna start off at a D at the 10th fret on the E string like so. Now the pattern we're gonna play here is one, four, and then onto the next string, one, four, one, three, one, three. So the notes are a D, an F, a G, a B flat, a C, a D, a F and a G like that. Don't forget, the same five notes are running through absolutely everything we're doing in this lesson. Now let's look at the blues bass riff we're gonna build off this, and it sounds like this. So let's take that apart. So we're gonna start off with the two B flats as we've done before. Then we're gonna drop down to the D, F, and the G like that on the second beat. So this is the first two beats. And then going on, we're gonna go B flat, uh, C, D like that. So the next three notes. Are those in the next three notes? So let's take it right from the beginning, it's this. And then the last three notes are simply gonna be an F, a D, and a C like that. So the whole riff sounds like this. That falls really nicely under the hands. So let's put it with the blues backing track so you can hear it in action. If you're enjoying this lesson, I would love to ask you, please subscribe to the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel because 
every single week we release a new lesson designed especially for the beginner to intermediate bass player who wants to push their skills up to that advanced level. So please make sure you hit the red button which is somewhere around that video and the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when a new lesson goes live. Now let's move on to shape four. Now this starts at an F at the 13th fret on the E string. So the fingering we're looking for here is two, four, and then on to the next string, two, four, one, four, one, four, like so. And the notes are an F, G, a B flat, a C, a D, an F, a G, and a B flat. Now let's put our blues riff to it, which sounds like this. So the first two notes are a B flat, and then we drop it down to an F, a G, and a B flat, like so. The first two beats sound like this. And then the next three notes are a C, a D, and an F, like so. So the first three beats, like so. And then the final beat is this, which is simply G, F, and D, like so. So let's play it with the backing track so you can hear it in action. Guys, we're nearly there. So if you're familiar with the minor pentatonic scale, shape five is going to be so easy. So we're going to play this down the octave starting at the third fret on the E string like so. So the notes are simply a G, a B flat, a C, a D, an F, a G, a B flat, and a C like that. Fingering one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three. Now I'm sure you're familiar with that shape, so it should be super comfortable. Now the riff we're gonna play, because we're playing a blues in B flat here, we're gonna be starting at the B flat on the E string like that, this. So the riff is gonna sound like this. So let's take that apart. First beat, straightforward. Then the second beat is a C, a D, and an F like that. Third beat is a G, a B flat, and a G like that. So put the first three beats together. And then the last three beats are an F, a D, and a C like that. So it sounds like this. So let's put it in context now and play it all the way through with the backing track. Thank you. 
guys, that's the end of today's bass lesson. If you've enjoyed this lesson, make sure you download today's PDF, but also make sure you go back to the lesson five simple shapes and download that PDF too. And also watch that lesson all the way through because you'll see the correlation between the shapes of the major pentatonic and the minor pentatonic, which is super, super important. Also, if you're looking to really push your bass guitar playing forward, make sure you jump over to ebassguitar.com check out the Bass Lab Plus. The Bass Lab Plus is where average bass players become amazing. It's my private members community over at ebassguitar.com. You can check it out because there's a full step-by-step -step syllabus there ready to really push your bass guitar playing forward. So there is a link in the description below where you can join free today for 14 days to take it for a test drive. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com. I'll catch you next week.